Where's Pot Pan that he helps not to take away? He shift a trencher, he scrape a trencher. When good manner shall I on one or two men's hands, and they unwash too, tis a foul thing. Away with the joint stools, remove the court cupboard, look to the plate. Good thou, save me a piece of marsh pane, and as thou lovest me, let the porter let in Susan Grindstone and Nell. Aye, boy, ready. You are looked for and called for, asked for and sought for in the great chamber. We cannot be here and there too. Cheerly boys, be brisk a while and the longer liver take all. Welcome, gentlemen. Ladies that have their toes unplagued with corns will have a bout with you. Ha <laughs> ha, my mistresses. Which of you now will now deny to dance? <laughs> she that makes dainty, she I'll swear hath corns. <laughs> Am I come near you now? Ah, welcome, gentlemen. I have seen the day that I have worn a visor and could tell a whispering tale in a fair lady's ear such as would please. Tis gone, tis gone, tis gone. Ah, oh, you are welcome, gentlemen. Come, musicians, play! A hall, a hall, give room, and foot it, girls! More light, you knaves, and turn the tables up, and quench the fire! The room has grown too hot! Ah, Sarah, this unlooked-for sport comes well. Nay, sit, nay, sit, good cousin Capulet, for you and I are past our dancing days. How long is it since you yourself and I were in a mask? By Our Lady. Thirty years. What, man? But tis not so much. Tis not so much. Uh, tis since the nuptials of Lucentio. Some five and twenty years and then we masked. Tis more. Tis more. His son is elder, sir. His son is thirty. Will you tell me that? His son was but a ward two years ago. What lady is that in the upper right that doth enrich the hand of yonder knight? Oh, she doth teach the torches to burn bright. She hangs upon the cheek of night. Beauty too rich for use, for earth too dear. So shows a snowy dove trooping with crows as yonder lady or her fellow shows. I'll watch her place of stand and being bold make blessed my rude hand. Hath my heart loved till now? Forswear at sight, for ne'er I saw true beauty till this night. This by his voice should be a Montague. Fetch me my rapier, boy. What dares the slave come hither, covered with an antic face, to fleer and scorn at our solemnity? Now by the stock and honor of my kin, to strike him dead, I hold it not a sin. Wherefore now, kinsman, wherefore storm you so? Uncle, this is a Montague, our foe, a villain that is hither come in spite to scorn at our solemnity this night. Young Romeo, is it? Tis he, that villain Romeo. Content thee, gentle cuz. Let him alone. He bears him like a portly gentleman. And to say truth, Verona brags of him to be a virtuous and well-governed youth. I would not for the wealth of all the town here in my house do him disparagement. Therefore be patient, take no note of him. It is my will, the which if thou respect, show a fair presence and put off these frowns and ill-beseeming semblance for a feast. It fits when such a villain is a guest, I'll not endure him. He shall be endured. What, Goodman boy, I say he shall. Go to, am I the master here or you? Go to, you'll not endure him. God mend my soul, you'll make a mutiny among my guests. You will set cock a hoop. You'll be the man. Why, uncle, tis a shame. Go to, go to, you are a saucy boy. Is so indeed. This trick may chance to scathe you. I know what, you must contrary me. Mary, tis time. Well said, my hearts. You are a princox. Go, be quiet or more light, more light. For shame, I'll make you quiet. What, <laughs> cheerily, my hearts. I will withdraw, but this intrusion shall now seeming sweet convert to bitter gall. If I profane with my unworthiest hand this holy shrine, the gentle fine is this. My lips, two blushing pilgrims ready stand to smooth that rough touch with a tender kiss. Good pilgrim, you do wrong your hand too much. 
which mannerly devotion shows in this? For saints have hands that pilgrim's hands do touch, and palm to palm is holy palmer's kiss. Have not saints lips and holy palmers too? I pilgrim, lips that they must use in prayer. Oh then, good saints, let lips do what hands do. They pray, grant thou, lest faith turn to despair. Saints do not move, though grant for prayer's sake. And move not, whilst my prayer's effect I take. Thus from my lips by yours my sin is purged. Then have my lips the sin that they have took? Then from thy lips, oh, trespass sweetly urged. Give me my sin again. You kiss by the book. Madam, your mother craves a word with you. What is her mother? Mary, bachelor, her mother is the lady of the house, and a good lady, and a wise, and virtuous. I nursed her daughter that you talked with all. I tell you, he that can lay hold of her shall have the chinks. Is she a Capulet? Oh dear account, my life is my foe's debt. Nay, hey, gentlemen, prepare not to be gone. We have a trifling foolish banquet towards. Is it e'en so? Why then, I thank you all. I thank you, honest gentlemen. Good night. More torches here. Come on then, let's to bed. Oh, Syrah, by my fay, it waxes late. I'll to my rest. Come hither, nurse. What is yon gentleman? The son and heir of old Tiberio. What's he that's going out of door? Mary, that I think be young Petruchio. What's he that follows there that would not dance? I know not. Well, go ask his name. If he be married, my grave is like to be my wedding bed. <laughs> his name is Romeo and a Montague, the only son of your great enemy. My only love sprung from my only hate. Too early seen unknown and known too late. Prodigious birth of love it is to me that I must love a loathed enemy. What's this? What's this? Um, uh, a rhyme I learned even now of when I danced with all. Anon, anon, come, let's away. The strangers are all gone. <laughs>